Hi, this being the beginning of the holiday season, although it may not feel like it, it is. So I wanted to be among the first to extend good wishes for a good holiday season and uh, into the next year that I think a lot of us are looking forward to already, or at least for this year to be over. So I wanted to say first, thank you for all the, the letters, the kind letters that I've been receiving and uh, also for some of the requests here and there. I'll do my best to um, acknowledge and fulfill as many of them as I can. And it's good to be with you this way again through a video. And thanks for your patience while there have not been as many videos as there were maybe last month or so. Um, so one of the uh, one of the requests I received said um, how uh, I, I would love to receive a holiday Thanksgiving like message from you, but could you please not make it um, a typical, we have so much to be grateful for kind of message. Yes, I know that's true. And I believe that and I don't mind getting those kind of messages, but I just don't want to get them from you, which really made me laugh out loud. I wasn't sure exactly how to respond to that. But I thought about it a little bit and I thought, well, I do understand in some ways that, um, that saying that we are grateful or we have so much to be grateful for, that it's kind of something that in some ways, and maybe especially this year, we've had to kind of swallow that thought or talk ourselves into it or um, find a way to make it real for ourselves. And there's always a way to do that. We can always start to think about um, count our blessings or think about, you know, different people who may be in unfortunate circumstances and think that ours may not be that dire or that unfortunate. But that's not the best way to go about things. Thinking about how bad someone else has it and that we are not in that place is not necessarily how we want to arrive at um, feeling grateful. So in some ways, what this person um, lovingly and with good humor said to me is that they wanted a message of gratitude without attitude or platitude. So I thought that was very humorous and I wanted to respond to that. So yes, we have this attitude. We should be having this attitude of, of gratitude, being grateful, and things have become a little bit too much um, like platitudes. And for those who don't know that word or for my, um, for my foreign speaking friends, platitudes are, are, um, are words that are morally true and we say them and we want to feel them, but they're kind of overused already so much so that they uh, have lost or are losing their meaning. And I think that that is what this person was indicating. So for me, when I get to that point, I kind of look around and I think about how can I respond? Am I ready to respond with kindness? So instead of looking around and thinking, what do I have or don't have, or whether it's good or not good, or that comparing kind of way that we get, or that I'm talking myself into feeling how I should feel about something, um, which I might get to on my own, but not maybe today. Then I look around and just say, how can I respond to, um, to an email in this case, to, um, to the nature that is around me, to those who may need something or those who I might choose to spend time with, but how can I respond? Or can I respond with kindness? And sometimes that's all I have. Uh, I don't have much more to respond with. Sometimes I have kindness, but I don't have patience. Sometimes I have patience, but I don't have kindness. So we look around to see what we have. What do we have in the toolbox today? What's in the pantry? What's in the refrigerator? What do we have that we can offer to the world today? And, and we begin there. And then it doesn't become um, a platitude. Then it's real for us. 
because it's what we have and it's all that we have. And that way it's enough. It's enough, it's honest, it's real, and, um, and it's what we are willing to do. And maybe the other thing I do is when I don't feel all that other stuff that it seems like we should have, or that Facebook tells us everyone else is having, or um, the movies tell us, or anything else tells us we should be feeling or buying or having, then that's the time to be the most honest and to have a few people in your life, in your world that you can be that honest with. And I have that. So um, I have a few people that I can say, today's not my best day, or um, uh, I have been grateful, I will be grateful, but I may not feel that way today and have that be okay. Um, and so those are my words to start the holiday season with. Uh, for me, things this year are very simple. How simple can I make things? How honest, how simple, how down to earth, um, how less obligatory can I feel and how honest and real can I be with myself? and the world that I know. And um, we'll be talking about that a little bit more, even this year with a few short weeks to go in the year and, um, and into the next year as we have little gentle glimpses and previews of the next year. So forgive my absence. I hope you've enjoyed some of the other postings on Facebook and I will try to make myself more available on video for you as well. So um, happy holidays to you. And yes, it's not a platitude. I am grateful that you are here and, um, and that I've known many of you for so long, for so, for so many years. Thank you so much for being in and around uh, my life and part of that continuity that means so much to me. And I'll see you again soon.